chocolatey and brown and I love it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Natasha. Go ahead and subscribe. We do hair tutorials and get ready with me's and such on this channel. So if you like that, go ahead and subscribe. So today I'm going to be doing a hair video. This wig is from In Color Wigs. I've worked with them plenty of times. I tell you guys all the time, I love their unit. They are like, look at this. Gorgeous. I don't think I've done a color like this. This is like a true auburn, but it's so wearable. It's like. It like is giving that pop, but it's not doing too much. Like on camera, it may be coming off kind of brown. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go back and see what it's giving. I'm looking in the monitor, that's what I'm looking. But you guys, it is this deep auburn. It's so pretty. It's like one tone all over. It just looks so nice, and I just love how it um is how it looks against my complexion. It just makes me look so like chocolatey and brown and I love it so if you're interested in this unit make sure that you guys check the description box I always leave the hair information in the description box and keep watching all right guys so time for me to show you guys the process so I'm starting off with my wig cap on hair slicked back and I'm gonna be cleaning off my hairline per usual so today I received this super gorgeous wig you guys it is this auburn colored wig it's like a reddish brown it looks so rich and it just it looks amazing I think this is gonna be like the new it color for the season and this might be my new signature color like I always try to go back to the natural black or the blacks and something about color like natural colors hit on me like I just love it so much so this was the wig um, after I washed it I did bleach the knots a little bit it didn't really need it and I um, plucked a little bit it didn't need that as well um, so I'm just doing my same old method you guys know I love this spray it's like an all-in-one before I used to use like a gel and then one spray and then another spray and then this and then that. no use this and you're good like this gets the job done this is the all-in-one product right here so i'm just applying my wig like i said like i always do my method hasn't changed recently i feel like if it's not broken don't fix it so i'm just taking my time and laying it you know like the hair was just so silky but like not too silky and i just was obsessed i'm like wow this is really about to be like my go-to color like absolutely so just a few specs on this hair this hair did come pre-colored as it's like auburnish color it's a 24 inch and it does have a 13 by 4 frontal and i'm not sure what the, the what the lace is but it melted i'm gonna say transparent it melted really nicely I, I never have an issue with in color wigs lace their lace is very very nice so i'm just cutting the lace and laying it and then we're gonna come back when it's time to style I feel like this color wig is one of those wigs that's about to be very popular for the season and it's also very universal if you're looking at this and you're like oh I don't know if I could do this color yes you can you can and you will so go ahead and get the wig now because it is so bomb like I don't see this not looking good on anybody's complexion like 
I don't I don't see it. I just see it looking amazing on everybody. So please go ahead and get this wig, you guys. It's already pre-colored. You don't have to dye. You don't have to fry your wig. Go ahead, click the description box, get this wig because you need it. Okay. The baby hair though was doing a little some some I will say so myself so um like I said I did wash the wig and I let it air dry this is what it looked like it's a nice texture it's a nice body wave so even with it being pre-colored it still does have texture to it which I like because it's able to hold a curl and a style so I lightly layered my hair I didn't want to do too much and I'm putting some of this Paul Mitchell serum I completely forgot I had this like I've been dipping into my um, products because I have so much stuff. I just, I need to start using it and switching it up. So I put this all throughout my hair and then I'm going to curl it. So I'm going to be using my wand, my Foxy Bay wand, but instead of curling all the way to the end, I'm going to leave like, like maybe like two centimeters so that the ends are kind of straight, but not too straight. I don't want like straight ends. I just want it to be like a messy curl and I want it to kind of just drop effortlessly. Um, that's kind of the vibe that the hair was giving. I didn't want it to be too curled. So that's what I did to each his own. I'm probably going to try this. I had to adjust myself as you can see. But um, I'm probably going to try this again like in a side part or something. I'm just obsessed with this color. I don't know what it is about this color. I've had ginger wigs. I've had brown. I've had highlighted. But something about this shade is just, it's doing it for me, baby. This is the true test and I passed the test y'all. So all I did was put some powder in my part. You guys have seen me do all this. Y'all should know how to curl and all this by now, okay? And I'm just tweaking it. Whenever I'm done with my hair, I just kind of like continue hot combing it, seeing if I want to curl this one way and that another way. And I just really play with it until it's to my liking. So I'm just showing you guys a few clips of the wig without any makeup on so you guys can see the lace is really laid. Like it looked really good in my opinion. Um, and then I'm going to do my makeup and that's it you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know what you guys think down below. Are you going to try this color or this wig? You need to. So um, thanks so much for watching again and I will see you guys next time.